Hello everyone. Let me begin by thanking organizers of this important forum and commending the Youth Center for Research in Pakistan and her partners for organizing this summer research program. I was glad to learn that this is the first time that people from outside Pakistan have been able to take part in this forum and to be able to connect digitally. I also commend you for this. Let me also thank you for inviting me to be part of this forum. It was an honor to speak with and share experiences with my fellow youth who share a common aspiration of using research to bring about social change in our communities. As a way of introduction, my name is Agnes Mongoka. I'm your fellow youth from Tanzania in East Africa who shares this aspiration about research with you. I was born and raised in Tanzania. I obtained a Bachelor of Arts degree in Political Science and Public Administration. I'm also a Chevening Scholar. I got a scholarship to attend University of Cardiff in Wales, United Kingdom, where I obtained master's degree of science in social and public policy in 2018. Based on my own experience, I want to share briefly why having good research skills is not just important, but vital for social action as a young person. I've worked with a number of NGOs in my home country, Tanzania, but today I'll make reference to my work with one of them, that is Helpage International. This is an organization that advocates for rights and welfare of older people across the world. And I'm informed that they also have offices in Pakistan. While with them, I quickly learned that as a researcher, you have the authority to recommend what can be done after the research and also critically during the study itself. I was just 23 years old at the time. I recall during one study on intergenerational issues related to aging, youth were only to be taken on board as respondents, but not as stakeholders to be engaged with on the findings and on the solutions. I used my position to add a young voice to encourage the involvement of youth as part of the solution as well. As a result, one aspect of the subsequent policy advocacy that resulted from the study involved a youth dimension. To me, this speaks to the importance of youth participating in research, both as researchers and research subjects. So that's my first message, that you're never too young to delve into research and that you're never too young to provide recommendation on the process and on the way forward based on your own research for the benefit of your community. My second message today is on the importance of collaboration and networking. This applies to everyone here, whether your field of focus is economics or engineering, or business or biochemistry or social policy like me. Many of our countries share similar challenges, be they social, economic, political or environmental. A major one is how to deal with the effects, for example, of climate change or poverty, or more recently, how to deal with the aftermath of coronavirus. Research, and more importantly, comparative studies, allow us to investigate how other countries with similar challenges have been able to overcome them. And with the advances of modern telecommunication, today's youth are the most connected. In this regard, the wider network you have, the more scope of collaboration with colleagues from across countries and continents, and the better understanding that will be gained. That is another strength of research. As a parting note, I must say that research is not an end in itself. As they say, no research is ever complete. One start leads to the other, and so on. However, we don't want research to just end up on the shelf, not being read. At least that's not what I want. I believe that there has to be a link between research, the recommendations, and social action. You'll agree with me that we should seek to influence policy based on our research. However, if you do not have tangible, well-researched information, it is hard to even make a case. So if you want to be part of the policy discussion, I have come to learn that. Good research skills helps you to get a seat at that police table and good research outcomes will give you the confidence to speak persuasively and with authority for the benefit of your society. As I said, good research skills are not just important but vital in most of what we will seek to do. As such, I believe that the skills that you will gain here will go a long way to building your capacity and your ability to realize your aspirations. I wish you a very successful program. Thank you.